Baraka Thay Yahweh, Baraka Thay Yahweh Shah, Baraka Thay Yahweh, Baraka Thay Yahweh Shah. All praise to Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shah. Now, you have the spirit of Elijah. And when people say that, they don't understand what was going on in the scriptures about Elijah. Because Elijah was a major prophet in the Old Testament or in Israel when it came to the Israelites. And so all of the works that he did raised the dead, um, rebuild an altar to the Most High, Yahweh, uh, make, the, make the sun sit still, I think, and um, he was taken up in a chariot. He just did a lot of uh, works that was going to be repeated. And so you got people in the uh, New Testament the so-called New Testament or people in Israel who knew uh, his works and knew the prophecy about him but it wasn't specifically about him because he represented something bigger than himself and I'm going to demonstrate that now Malachi Chapter 4, verse 5 and 6, it says, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Now, this Elijah, the prophet, how he worded that was saying he was going to send Elijah. But that's not what he was going to send. He was going to send something different than Elijah. You see, because Elijah was a representation of something. Elijah was something bigger than than his self you see because verse 6 tells you what his purpose was see that's what he represented he represented the minds of Israel and the Israelites returning being resurrected being revived now, let's go to, let's go to, um, let's go to 1 Kings chapter 17, 1 Kings chapter 17, and verse 22, okay. Okay, starting at 21, we're going to start at 21, because this is when he resurrected the child, but it stands for Israel as a whole. You see, it was a allegory in a dark saying where it represented Israel as a whole. It says, and he stretched himself upon the child three times. Now, when you look at this three times, you can even put that into uh, who John the Baptist, Yahweh Shai, and in the modern day, uh, Abba, Abba Bibbins, or um, the one with uh, 
the person who started the one west camps you can take it there because he did he revived he he stretched himself upon the child meaning israel three times and cried unto the lord and said O lord i pray thee let's let this child's soul come into him again you see he was bringing the son the, the mind the memory of the, the the israelites and uh what they represented bringing it back going on in verse 22 and the lord held the voice of elijah heard the voice of elijah and the soul of the child came into him again and he revived 23 and elijah took the child and brought him down out of the chamber into the house now you can take that and add that to um precept that with uh what is revelations chapter 20 one where it talks about the um new jerusalem coming down from heaven adorned as a bride you see and deliver him unto his mother you see going back into that new jerusalem the homeland delivering him back into the homeland where the nation of Israel came from. And Elijah said, See, thy son liveth. So Elijah was bigger than just a prophet that did a bunch of good stuff and he was going to be resurrected and come back on the earth and do some more stuff. No, he represented something bigger than that. He represented the, the, the reviving and the resurrection of the nation. And he represented uh, what John John uh, chapter 3 talks about. This is what Elijah represented. John chapter 3. Let's see, starting at. Starting at verse 3, he said, Jesus, whose name is Yahweh in the Hebrew, answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Now, is this the born again that they talking about uh, in Israel now? That these some some people gonna be born again in the kingdom. Let's see what Nicodemus say. Verse four, Nicodemus says unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? You <laughs> see. Verse 5, Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Verse 6, he say, That which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. So, pretty much, these individuals that's in Israel, or the seed of Israel, was going to be reborn spiritually in their mind. And when they say, born of water, that is the word which is spiritual, which is the spirit. Because he say, Yahweh shall say, I'll come in the volume of the book. 
And and uh let's get chapter six real quick. Six sixty three. It say it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profit is nothing the words that i speak to you they are spirit and they are life so the word is the spirit so you have to be reborn in the spirit that what is what it was talking about not the the actual spirit that elijah had in his body and the mind and all everything he was thinking about or his spirit that uh powering his body was going to come back in somebody else or come, uh, 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 or come back and be born again in a whole nother body no that's not what it's talking about now let's let's, let's certify that we're going to certify that in, with, with the shotgun scripture second kings chapter 2 verse 15 Second King chapter two verse fifteen. All right, now let's get this one. It says verse fifteen, and when the sons of the prophets, which were to view at Jericho, saw him, they said, "The spirit of Elijah do rest on Elisha." They came to meet him and bowed themselves to the ground before him. The spirit of Elijah do rest on Elisha. Now, did the actual spirit of Elijah, did the, 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 the Elijah went into the, 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 the fourth dimension or the heavens of the heavens, where Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai is at, and the other angelic bodies, he went to the spirit world, or he didn't go into the spirit world, God put his spirit inside of Elisha's spirit, with Elisha's spirit, so he had a double spirit in one body. Because the scriptures say about giving giving them a double portion of the spirit, right here in uh, verse nine, it says, "And it came to pass when they were o gone over that Elijah said to Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee before I be taken away from thee.'" And Elijah said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. <laughs> uh, so, did uh, he get a double portion of Elijah's spirit? The spirit of Elijah? So now he duplicated, according to these people's doctrine now, he duplicated his spirit and when he duplicated the spirit he put it into Elisha's body and Elisha got three spirits now you see now he got three spirits no Elisha Elijah represented something bigger than himself he represented the, the, the uh, a prophet having the highest level of God's spirit in him. Spirit and power. Let's get Luke. See, that's what he's talking about, man. But people want to follow they, 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 you know, the people that taught them. And they want to give them all kind of reverence when, when they didn't do that with Cornelius. See. They didn't give him reverence when it came to Cornelius and say, we're going to forget what makes sense and we're going to go what you taught us. No, they said, forget what you taught us and we're going with the scriptures and say Cornelius was Israelite. But that I digress. Now, Luke 
uh, one say, and he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just and to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. So that was the whole purpose of the spirit that uh, spirit of Elijah. The spirit of Elijah was a spirit that was going to revive the children and the nation of Israel. That's what it was going to do. Verse 16, it says, And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their God. That's what any person that came to do represented. They represented the spirit of Elijah to turn the children of Israel to God again. That's what the spirit of Elijah represented. And he passed that on to Elisha when he died. His spirit rests on Elisha. Because Elisha came and resurrected somebody. Elisha came and did powerful miracle uh, works. You see? So these individuals want to get all kind of scriptures. But... This is the key to the spirit of Elijah. This is the key when you're talking about all the questions, people questioning him, saying, is you Elijah, is you a this Elijah? And they're telling him, no, we're not Elijah. But Yahweh Shah saying, if you got ears to hear, yes, he is the he is the representation of this spirit of Elijah coming in the last days before the end of the, uh, before the judgment day come. The spirit of Elijah was going to rest upon another man. And he was going to bring the children. He was going to help the, uh, the children of Israel be reborn. Be born again in the spirit. You see, that's all it was talking about. It was going to be the spirit of Elijah was going to rest on another person. Like it rests on Elisha. And he was going to. Bring the children of Israel back to their heritage that they had lost. Or back to righteousness. Because see here it say the disobedient. See, bring, turn the disobedient to, wis, to the wisdom of the just. So John the Baptist wasn't bringing the children of Israel back into who they were because they hadn't lost their identity. He was bringing, his purpose was to bring them back to righteousness and to wisdom and to be ready for Yahweh Shai. That's what John the Baptist's uh, purpose was in walking in the spirit of Elijah. And then Yahweh Shai was also the spirit of Elijah because he was bringing the children back to righteousness. Then when you get to Alba Bivens and, and, and the one West camp and those individuals who uh, was pushing the word at a high level that we were the children of Israel, they was talking about, they was uh, demonstrating the spirit of Elijah. Same thing with uh, pro, uh, pro, um Prosser, uh, uh, Gabriel Prosser in 1900, he had the spirit of Elijah. He was telling the children of Israel, You are the children of Israel. But day he was murdered because it wasn't the time. You see, and so that is what that's talking about. It's not talking about somebody being. Uh, reincarnated into another person. He wasn't reincarnated. You can't reincarnate somebody in somebody else's body that's already alive with their own spirit. You see. But I'm going to leave it there. All praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Dash. Double honors to all the elders pushing the word. For many decades and years. 
um, just demonstrating that spirit of Elijah and uh, peace to the elect worldwide that's going to make it out of this kingdom and uh, our kingdom is at hand. Shalom.